A big welcome to you for joining us from Griswold Stadium on the campus of Lewis and Clark College. It is the second game of the season in Portland, but the Northwest Conference opener as today the Lewis and Clark Pioneers take on the Pacific Lutheran Lutes. Thanks for joining us. I am Ryan Goff. Appreciate you taking the time for us on Pio Stream. We are broadcasting live today on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and on Twitch in addition to LC Pioneers. Dot com. Uh, it's exciting to be here because this is a matchup between two teams in the Northwest Conference that have a good chance to get their first conference win today. Lewis and Clark, last time they played Pacific Lutheran, got the win. That was on the road two seasons ago. Keep in mind, the 2019 season was the last full season of games played. Lewis and Clark did not even have any games in 2020 because of the coronavirus pandemic. And so they have not played any Northwest Conference games in Portland since they ended the 2019 season. Of course, beat Whittier 66-14 in the first game of the season here in Portland. It was the third most points ever scored by a Lewis and Clark football team yeah, on the season. It's a really good way to start. Went to Whitworth yes, uh, last week excuse me, and ended up falling in a good game against the number 18th ranked Whitworth Pirates. All things considered, Lewis and Clark a pretty good showing as they held Whitworth to the fewest points against the Pios in quite some time. Lewis and Clark also had a lead in that game, entering the third quarter. Whitworth pulled away late in the contest. So excited for the contest today. Both teams 0-1 in Northwest Conference play. Pacific Lutheran lost their first game on the Northwest Conference schedule against George Fox. Last weekend, the Pioneers have three home games remaining. This is the first of three. They'll be alternating weeks in Portland and then outside of Portland as next week they will travel to Salem for the wagon wheel game. Lewis and Clark will try to defend the wagon wheel for the fourth consecutive season. In a few moments, we're going to take you down to the field for the playing or singing of the national anthem. This will be performed by Lewis and Clark assistant Head coach Joe Bushman's sister excited to have the opportunity to get a live performance for the anthem. So very excited. Let's send you down to the field for the singing of the national anthem. Oh, performance from Amy Bushman that is the sister of head coach Joe Bushman big hugs down in the middle of the field as we get set for this game coming up on pile stream let's take a break we'll come back with the starting lineups and the kickoff from Portland Oregon it's coming up next on pile stream
back in Portland, getting set for Lewis and Clark taking on the Pacific Lutheran Lutes. Appreciate you being with us for this edition of Northwest Conference Football on Pio Street. Pioneers successful outing last time. They were in Portland and beat Whittier 66 to 14 the final. Pioneers lost last week 35-17 against number 18th ranked Whitworth Pacific Lutheran off a 27-14 loss to George Fox last weekend. They will take on that Whitworth team on the road, so back-to-back -back road games for Pacific Lutheran. It's going to be a good day for football, though, at Fred Wilson Field, Griswold Stadium. Holds 3,000. First game back where tickets are being sold, and it's good to see all the fans who have flocked in to the building for this game. It's going to be in the mid-50s at kickoff May toward the fourth quarter, getting to the 60s. It is overcast, but certainly not cloudy. There is some sunshine as Mercury Campagno holding hands with Anakin Mares, Deontay Navarrete, who was outstanding and is the Northwest Conference's leading rusher, and Cameron Chang getting set to go to midfield for the coin toss, Alex Rendon, one of the Lutes captains along with quarterback Eric Bainter. They also have one of their best defenders, Case and Higa out there. And then the other number 10 is Sean Kim, the defensive back. Let's go to the field. Referee Ricky Robke will do the kickoff, or rather the coin toss. Looks like no microphone turned on for the coin toss. So we'll sit here and narrate as we watch coin being shown to Pacific Referee Lutheran wearing the white road unis. Heads and tails. What's your call? There you go. Tails is called. And it is the head. Selected won the toss. Right. Pioneers won the toss and selected to defer. Yeah. That's the ball, which one? Hey. Pioneers won the toss. Do you further to getting set to open up their first game against Pacific Lutheran since back in 2019. It was a 28-14 win for Lewis and Clark at Pacific Lutheran about this time in October. Lewis and Clark put up 450 yards in that game. Not necessarily a gigantic amount, right? But not a modest amount either. But it was 250 more than PLU as the Pioneers got their first win against the Lutes since 2011 and just their second since 1989. So Lewis and Clark will kick to PLU. That top camera, Lily, if you want to tell them to click on the neutral density filter a quarter, it's on the left side of the camera, that could be helpful. Telling our director, Lily Moffitt, as we get the cameras kind of set up, one's a little bit overexposed on the top. And Lewis and Clark wearing black uniforms. They have the orange numbers, white trim, and then new for this year, as you see on the left side of the helmets, they have the jersey number on one side. The other side is the Lewis and Clark logo. That logo has been around for just over 10 years or so, the interlocking L and C. As Hayden Moses gets set to kick it right to left, appreciate you joining us for this contest. Back to return, Manuel Felon. Falon averages about 13.8 yards per return. Stands on the far side. On the near side, it's Cody Sigler, a freshman from Reno. And Moses gets into it, kicks it away, angles it to the far side of the field, bounces. And Riggler has it, works to the far side numbers and stays vertical on those. Tackled Logan Herman, the linebacker, in on the stop for the Pioneers, as well as Daniel Fam, the sophomore out of Portland. And here comes the Lutes, his fourth year coached by Brent McAdams. But two and seven in 2019, the Lutes come into today one and two and 0 oh and one in Northwest Conference play, going left to right. White unis for the Lutes as Pacific Lutheran has a running back to the right side hip of the quarterback.
long snap count. Snap to Bainter, play action, throwing. In route, coming from the near side and too far out of the reach of John Walker. The sophomore target was open. It was down near the 35 of Lewis and Clark. Coverage by Mares up front for the Lutes. The right guard is Nico Skinner, sophomore out of Sumner, Washington. And then the right tackle is Ryan Lusk. Actually, no, Lusk is the center, the senior out of Buckley, Washington. The right tackle is six foot three, 230 pound senior, Yorba Linda, California senior, Jacob Espinosa. One receiver to the upside, three to the bottom side. The running back motions out, that's Malik White. Screen play out that direction, caught at the 20, worked up the numbers and breaking tackles forward and up to the 35 yard line. A gain of nine on second and 10 for the Lutes. It'll be third and one on the opening possession of the game. Vincent Lovato is the freshman left tackle. 6'2", 270 for Pacific Lutheran. And then Thomas Jacobs is the left guard, 6'2", 260 pound sophomore. Bainter on the year, 6'3", 190 pound junior. Bothell, Washington is from where he hails. Third and one, opening possession for PLU. Two receivers either side from the 35 of the loose. First minute, opening quarter, White the deep back. Bainter looks left, screen play opposite direction and over the head of the receiver White. Cameron Chang came through, made contact. But you can see the Pioneers head to the sideline after a fantastic first series defensively. And out comes the punt team for PLU. Max Buchanugan is the six foot, 190 pound senior punter from Washington. Out of Bremerton, averages 39 yards per punt. Elijah McGee is back to return. Pioneers only have 10 players out for special teams. Here's the kick. And it's angled toward the near sideline, bounces at the 35 and skids. McGee picks it up and is surrounded by a trio of loots. A modest return, but with 13.50 to go in the first quarter, Lewis and Clark has its first possession of the game. Forces a three and out. And the Pioneers with seventh year head coach Jay Losey and assistant head coach Third-year offensive coordinator Joe Bushman bring out Cruz Montana. Montana, the junior 6'2", 195-pound quarterback from Eureka, California. And as the Northwest Conference leading rusher, Deontay Navarrete to his right side, first and 10, Isaac Cordova in motion, handoff away from that, and over the top of a diving defender, Colby Rylander. Navarrete picks up three yards. Pioneers up front. Mercury Campagno, the senior at left tackle, 6'2", 275. And inside is Matt Cassidy, junior 6'2", 295. Second down, Montana behind the freshman center, Michael Lloyd, motions Marcelo Lopez, the tight end right. Handoff, Navarrete, and Navarrete picks up maybe one. Extra momentum, wearing the bright orange socks today, I love it. Navarrete able to get across the 30 and up to the 31 for the Pioneers brings up a third and five on the opening possession for Lewis and Clark. Nathan Line is the sophomore right guard. Snap to Montana throwing out route right side. Coming back for it is Devin Guest, but Guest is short of the first down. Completes it just shy of the 35 yard line and brings up third down, and the Pioneers have to punt on first possession of the day. Huxley Richardson is the freshman punter. Richardson out of Fayetteville, Arkansas. 5'11", 165 pounds, stands back at the 20 to put it away. Averages 31 per kick, and then PLU has two returners. The first is the kick returner, Cody Sigler, on the far side. And Jesse Conda is on the near side. Kick to the 30. Caught with a man in his face. Sigler able to spin away. Got enough space from Ben Burnham, but then is brought down after a return of one. In the vicinity was Will Powell. And here comes the Lutes. 12.03 to play first quarter. You can see the Pioneers on the sideline. Shifting personnel back to the defensive side. And we'll get you the 
starting lineup for the defensive side of Lewis and Clark. 31-yard line, first and 10, PLU left to right. Black helmets, white unis. One receiver to the bottom of the formation. Tight end wings to the right. That's Lake Ane. Hand off right side. Give to the receiver, Manuel Falon. And Falon able to carry it up to the 36-yard line. Pioneers up front. Have Cameron Chang, the returning senior out of Honolulu. 15 career sacks coming into the year. Has one this season on the right-hand side. And then Marvin Pasung Zita, senior at six foot two fifteen out of San Francisco. On the opposite side in the middle, it's DJ Smith, 5'11", 264 pound junior out of Las Vegas. Second down and four, PLU with three receivers and a tight end. White the running back to the right of Bainter. Handoff White goes left out of an arm tackle of Chang and then stepping up, Sam Meinhardt is there to make the stop. Lots of whistles at the end of that play. It was right at the line to game. There was an announcement by the official. Didn't catch it quickly enough, but it is a first down. First down, PLU. Across the 42 on the loot side of the field. First and 10 with a minute 11 to go, 0-0 game. Pioneers have Alex Hensley, Leander, Texas sophomore, specifically as a senior, playing his sophomore year of eligibility, I believe. He's one of the linebackers. Pioneers have five up in the line of scrimmage, first and 10. Pio's rush five, and then drop one back. Nice comeback route on the near side of the field. Reception made by Rendon at the 49. Gain of seven, 49 yard line, just shy of midfield. Pioneers have Justin Hope, sophomore, 5'11", 210 pound Sacramento, California linebacker. And then the secondary, far side, Joseph Gonzalez, senior out of San Carlos, California, with McConnell LeBoy at the safety spot today from Hawaii, senior, six foot. And then Tanner Ono is the other one out of Honolulu. They flip flop sides. Mares is the corner to the near side out of La Puente, California. Second down and three. Handoff, White squeezes through the right side of the line, twisted back to the left, and driven down by Hope and Chang. Forward progress, enough for a Lutz first down, down to the Lewis and Clark 46. Five minutes gone by in the opening quarter. PLU's second possession. And the Lutz have picked up their first two first downs. Two receivers near side, tight end, tight to the line, not a wing position for Ane. And then one receiver up on the top of the formation, that's Jace Kine. First and 10 throwing right side, and a high ball on a rope, caught. Nice high point reception by Walker at the 40 yard line, forward progress to the 39. And that's where Jake Bushman, the linebacker, drove him back. Bainter comes into the game 57 of 87, 65% completion percentage, 170 yards passing per game. Three TDs and three interceptions, but also very good at running. It's ran 25 times this year for just over five yards per carry. Second down and three from the Lewis and Clark 39 yard line for PLU. Second possession of the game for the Lutz. White the running back to the right side of Bainter. The quarterback gets the snap up at the face mask, throws left, quick catch is made at the 35-yard line. Rendon gets the catch and moves the chains for PLU. Meinhard makes the tackle. Possession started at the Lutz 31. Now to the Lewis and Clark 35. Offensive coordinator Spencer Crace, fourth-year offensive coordinator for the Lutz, formerly was the high school head coach at Sumner. You can see the artificial turf surface at Griswold Stadium. Walker and Fillon go to the right side of the formation. Up top, it's Kaim and Rendon. Rendon, excuse me, in the slot. First and 10 snap, Bainter. Chased by Chang, spins left, buys time, throws deep far sideline and over the head of Fillon over at the Lewis and Clark 10 yard line. Incomplete sets up second and 10 from the Lewis and Clark 35. Pioneer shift personnel. Ramson Paz comes in. Sophomore out of Hawaii. 6'1, 270. He's 
the Pioneer show now a four-man defensive front. Ari Bleemer, who's had an outstanding season so far. The senior from Hayward, California comes in as well. Interior defenders between Chang and Pusung Zita on second and 10 for PLU. Play clock down to 12, and the Lutes are still in the huddle. Two receivers right, tight end as a fullback wing right. Moit motions out of the backfield. Throw right side into double coverage. An incomplete and a penalty marker is thrown. Hope and Ono were in the vicinity covering on Rendon. The referee today is Ricky Robke. Todd Lutke, Justin Hestekine, Hestekin rather, Joseph Barnett, Blair Carlin. Defensive pass interference, number eight. It'll be penalized in the spot of the foul. Automatic first down. I also say one of the players for PLU has to come off Vincent Lovato, the left tackle, because he lost his helmet. Painter on a first and 10 from the Lewis and Clark 29. 0 0 game, just over eight minutes remaining in the first. Option play right, found a seam through the middle. Painter 20 yard line, cuts back left and is inside the Lewis and Clark 15 yard line. It's a 15 yard gain for the Lutes. And PLU has a first and 10. There's that option play. They've used White very much on the edges so far today. The senior running back out of Seattle. Screen passes, outside runs, and then that time the option play. Bainter able to break a tackle and get the first down for PLU. High snap, Bainter brings it down. White has a space to the left side. LaVoy came up from the safety spot to make the tackle. And it's moving it up to the six yard line. Two running plays have helped PLU get near the Lewis and Clark five yard line. Second down and two from the Lewis and Clark six yard line. Ane is the up back, White is the deep back. High snap, Bainter brings it down through the middle. White stretches for the goal line, and he crossed it before the ball came free. Touchdown, Lutz. So a 6-0 lead for PLU. And on for the PAT is Peyton Hilliard. Kick is up and through. PLU strikes first on the second drive of the game for the Lutes. And they go for a 69-yard drive and lead 7-0 over Lewis and Clark. From Lewis and Clark College in Portland, Oregon, this is Pio Street. Back in Portland, 639, first quarter, PLU goes 69 yards down the field and scores on a six-yard touchdown run by Malik White, the first rushing touchdown of the year for White. And the kick is away 
heading to the far side. In fact, so far, goes out of bounds, shy of the 15. So Lewis and Clark gets to start from the 35-yard line. Lewis and Clark went three and out on its first possession. And then PLU put together a nice drive. A lot of runs. Bainter, you could see his skill carrying the football. How PLU gets its points fifth in scoring in the Northwest Conference, 21.3 points per game. But they're second most in rushing. And while Lewis and Clark has the top rushing offense in the entire Northwest Conference. They average 185 yards per game. A lot of that is because of Navarrete, who's behind Cruz Montana, first and 10 for Lewis and Clark at the 35-yard line. Sweet play to the near side and nowhere to go for Cordova. Cracked down by Aiden Schroyer. Pioneers trail 7-0, 622 to go in the first. Devin Guess, the transfer from Occidental, the split receiver out to the top of the screen. Sean Bodai, the sophomore from Lions, Oregon, on the bottom. Snap to Montana. Pocket throws left side and caught by Bodai at the 42-yard line. Immediately wrapped up by Rylander. And it's short of a first down, a gain of seven since it's third and three for the Pios. Right side tackle, by the way, Alex Sandoval, 320 pounds, six foot five freshman out of Stockton, California. Navarrete is the deep back. Pioneers bring in a tight end. Aaron Kraus, snap through the middle, stacked up. Navarrete has nowhere to go. Great push up front by Schroyer, and Jared Elwin was there as well, and the Pioneers maybe gain a half yard. Richardson comes back out to punt. Alex Lee Richardson in kick formation for the Vitals. Alex Randon made to receive. On the full sergeant. Action. A fair catch called for by the Lutes. Fair catch signal at the 19 yard line. First and 10 Lutes. Four forty-nine to go in the opening quarter. Seven nothing. First and ten, Lutes from their own nineteen-yard line. Third possession for PLU in the game. Handoff, White left side around the corner, Chang. He's able to catch up, wrap around the shoulders, and limit it to a gain of one. So two three and outs for Lewis and Clark so far. PLU scored on a six-yard touchdown run by Blake White, who just had that last handoff. Back on. PLU, no, they still don't have that left tackle. It's instead Trevor Cass. Run to the right side. The play is made by Meinhard. He's a sophomore out of Cleveland, Ohio. Meinhard makes a good play there. The heavy concentration of PLU players from the state of Washington, 50 on the roster. And then there's 25 from Hawaii. Lewis and Clark has a good representation from Hawaii as well. But then you look at some of these places that Lewis and Clark has student athletes from. Queen Creek, Arizona, Cleveland, Ohio, Fayetteville, Arkansas. Piles are from all over the place. It's third and seven for PLU from their own 23 yard line. Three receivers right, one to the left. Pioneers start to rush, but whistle blows the play dead. False start 
on the offense, number 78. Five yards, still third down. put some heat on that football and the junior completes it moves the chains and a big third and 11 conversion Two fifty-five to go in the first Ricky Sakai is the receiver to the top of the formation three receivers to the bottom Mark Bossa is the bottom most Bainter has the play blow up can't get away from many. Pham in the tackle with Nico Lang. Lang switched from 92 to 43. The senior out of Palo Alto. Palo Alto, California. Gain of three, second down and seven for PLU. Seven nothing lead for the Lutes. 2.20 to play in the first quarter. So yeah, Trevor Cass is the left side tackle. Freshman of Ramona, California. Vincent Lovato started the game and had the lead. Motion from the left side of the formation. Quarterback keeper Bainter lowers the pads and runs right into Bleemer, who makes the tackle, a gain of three, maybe four, up to the 37-yard line for PLU. Sets up third down and three. PLU coming into today, fourth best on third down in the Northwest Conference. Converting at about 32% of the tries. Pioneers third down defense is sixth best in the Northwest Conference. 3-4 defense for Lewis and Clark. Seven on the play clock. Loots the line. Tight end to the right. Tight receivers. Twins to the bottom of the formation. Play action rollout. Bainter throws. Caught, but shy of the first down. Big tackle by LeBoy. Lang was there as well after the reception was made by Ane. Big stop for Lewis and Clark. Back on the kick as Buchan back at the 25. McGee returned the first punt. Pioneers had just a 10 player total out there on the first play of the game. Good snap. Buchan Ugin to McGee. Backpedaling. 18-yard line went backwards and was tackled. Immediate play by Regan Davina. 5'8", 8 out of Olympia, Washington. 29 seconds left in the first. That's McGee, who's one of the Pioneers' best receiver targets. He's now in his junior season out of Bremerton, Washington, had a big game the last time these two met in Tacoma back in October of 2019. It was a Lewis and Clark victory. Pioneers start at their own 17-yard line. Tight end wing to the right is Lopez. Play action, Montana behind, brought down, the ball's free. And the official says he was brought down on the hit from Nasser Ford. Cruz brought down Ford Ross. Back at the 10-yard line. Second down with 10 seconds left in the first quarter. Pioneers are to the line of scrimmage, trailing 7-0. And in the first quarter. First quarter. We'll take a break, come back with more from Griswold Stadium and Lewis and Clark College in Portland, Oregon. This is Pio Street. Okay. 
I'm Nick Lombardi. Um, something I've learned at Winterham this year is how to communicate a vision. My biggest takeaway from Winterham is probably the networking. Getting to talk to everybody, connect with people for the future is one of the most valuable things and I did Winterham last year, came back for more this year. I think the way in which my liberal arts education has really helped me and my group uh, formulate our ideas is that concept of critical thinking and having many different backgrounds, me being an econ major and my two group mates being chemistry majors, we really get that well-rounded background, well-rounded ideas. I think overall it's absolutely worth doing. Um, you, you find yourself not only being more prepared for, say, well, this next semester, um, on top of being more prepared for life in general. Welcome back to Griswold Stadium, Fred Wilson Field, Pacific Lutheran Luton 7, Lewis and Clark Pioneers nothing. Brian Goff with our Pio Street crew from Portland, Oregon. Pioneers had a sack on first down, now back up with a second down and 17. Cruz Montana rolls right, airs it out to the near sideline and off the outstretched left fingertip of Guest and incomplete at the 30. Cruz incomplete. A 69 yard drive on the second possession of three in the first quarter by the Lutes. The difference, a six yard touchdown and run and by Malik Schuster White. Evan Powers Lewis. comes in. Powers, the sophomore and running back from Honolulu to the left side of Montana. Two receivers either side for Lewis and Clark. Bodai, come back screen from the left side and not much running room at all. Play was made by Ashton Barton. And the Pioneers for the third straight time today have to punt. Three consecutive three and outs for Lewis and Clark. As we're underway now in the second quarter. Winner of today's game moves to one and two. Or rather, excuse me, to two and two overall and one and one in the Northwest Conference. Richardson on the Pioneers goal line to kick. Freshman kicker. Spirals it, fair catch called for, and brought in by Sigler on the Lewis and Clark side of the field. Excellent starting field position for Pacific Lutheran. For their third, make it their fourth possession of the game. Start at the Lewis and Clark doorstep, 50 yard line for Eric Bainter, junior quarterback. New running back is Michael Martinez, six foot, 200 pound freshman from Toppenish. He's only carried the ball three times this year. Two receivers to the top side of the formation and one to the bottom tight end as the fullback on A. From midfield, first and 10 PLU. Bainter fakes the handoff, runs right. And is dropped down by keeper. Justin Hope. Forward progress all the way down to Lewis and Clark 43. Another big first down gain. One thing the Lutes have done well so far in this contest is big pickups on the first play of the series. Gonzalez and Mares are the corners. LeBoy and Ono are the safeties. Same formation, second down and three for Pacific Lutheran between the hash marks. Pioneers blitz, wind up, throw, right side, and off the fingertips, diving for it. At the five yard line, John Walker can't bring it in. Third and three. That was on Mara's side of the field. Mara's is one of the highest pass breakup totals in the Northwest Conference, as he did in the last season for Lewis and Clark. 2019 was third in the conference. He's just done everything this year. Team high 26 tackles. He's had takeaways. He just gets his hands in between the football and the receiver. Walker and Rendon go to the right side. Left side receiver is Kimes. Third down and three for PLU. Snap to Bainter. Hand off Martinez. Crashes through the left side of the line. And is brought down by Hensley. But not until he has enough for six. And a first down for PLU. Baseball inside the 40 to the 38-yard line. 
In the last drive, PLU had a big third and 11 conversion, but then stopped after the chains moved. That one moves it, makes it a first and 10 from the Lewis and Clark 38. PLU trying to add to a 7-0 lead early second quarter. Martinez again, big space, big gap to the right side across the 35. And down to the 34-yard line. Push back Bushman and Smith from the bottom of the pile. Martinez is about four inches taller than White, the starting running back. White's back in. Time comes off the field as well into the game. For Pacific Lutheran. Is Darius Chaffin or Lane David Peralta? They're both six footers. Chaff Chaffin's labeled as a quarterback. Bottom of the formation, motions to the formation, and handoff. Quarterback to throw, going to the end zone, wide open, catch is made. Touchdown, PLU. That explains why the backup quarterback, Darius Chaffin, was in the game. Chaffin to Walker. It's Walker's second touchdown reception of the year. PAT coming up from Hilliard. It's good. Twelve twelve to go, second quarter, and PLU is in control early from Griswold Stadium from Lewis and Clark College in Portland, Oregon. This is Pile Street. Back in Portland, a 32-yard touchdown pass. Catch is made by Walker, and PLU has scored on three of the last, excuse me, on two of the last three drives. Lewis and Clark, a short kick picked up at the 16-yard line. Quickly through the 30, lots of room. Desmond holds it all the way to the 41-yard line. The Pioneers have their best starting field position of the game so far. Trying to break out of a start that's been three consecutive three and outs. They've not got Navarrete going yet on the ground. The Northwest Conference's leading rusher. 6.4 yards per carry to the left side of Cruz Montana. Pioneers dressed in black, left to right. And it's not Montana. They go with Tyron Sivongsa, the transfer from College of the Siskiyou. Sivongsa has the ball, goes left side, and is twisted down after a gain of one. Nico Gola able to make the tackle. Sivongsa. Originates from Weed, California, sophomore. Has thrown eight passes this season, completed seven so far. Three receivers in the tight end. Savonsa throws it on the in route from the left side. Bodai has the catch all the way down to the PLU 37-yard line with a penalty marker in the backfield. Holding offense number 55. 10 yards from the previous spot. Replay second down. Campagno is flagged for the hold left tackle spot. Negates a 23 yard reception. Savonsa and the Pioneers offense quickly to the line. Second down and 20. 
Snap Savongsa. Five rush out of the backfield. Powers makes the catch. And able to squeeze the left side of Krause that's blocking tight end. And gains about three yards. The great ball down the field to Bodai. John Bodai has had a great 2021 20, so far. Six receptions coming into the day. Guest motions to the left side of the formation. Snap to Savonksa. Three man rush. Throw left side. Caught shallow. Guest has it. Races to the sticks. Marked out of bounds, shy at the 50 yard line. One yard shy. Picked up 16, needed 17. Pioneer shift in Lopez. The fullback, Logan Herman. And Navarrete for fourth and one. Tight end either side. Savanza under center. Eye formation. Pitch left. Navarrete. And has the first down. Picked it up down to the Lutes 48 yard line. And Savanza motioning with his right hand, trying to get the offense going. First down, Pios. 10.38 to go, second quarter. Pioneers trail 14-0 to PLU. Bodai and Kraus left side of the formation. Near side is Cordova inside a guess, first and 10. Snap, good pocket, Savonksa sets his feet, throws. Seam route, incomplete, intended for guests near the PLU 10-yard line. Chen Tam Switzer with the breakup. Junior out of Hawaii. Pioneers first, first down of the game. They had to get it on a fourth down conversion. Kraus is out, Lopez is in, tight end right side. Powers the running back to the right of Sivanksa. Snap, blitz, throw. Lopez caught it. Is immediately wrapped up low. Eden Cisneros had Lopez, the six foot four tight end, down around the thighs. That was where Lopez let the defender, Cord Tuttle, the linebacker, go straight through and was available to make the catch. Only a gain of one third and nine. Snap, Sivaksa, blitz, PLU, throw left, and Bodai can't come up with it on the out route. Incomplete at the 39. Rylander had the coverage. Lewis and Clark sends out the punt team. Third. Make it the fourth straight punt by Richardson, standing back at the 37. Sigler's the lone returner. The PLU back at the 10. Bending down, Richardson gets it. And an arrow of a kick spins at the seven. And UFOs inside the five down to the two. Touched up there by Nando Magallanes. That's a big, beautiful kick for the Pioneers. And on a day where the offense is not able to move the football, you need to flip field position. And that worked that time for Lewis and Clark. Lutes start from their own three-yard line, leading 14-0 with 9.39 to go in the second quarter. Bainter's been stellar today. The last touchdown was a pass from third-string quarterback Darius Chaffin, one of the team's best receivers, and John Walker. That followed a Malik White touchdown. White is the deep back. Bainter, three yards into the end zone, play action. Wines, throws. Going down for the slide, and it's intercepted. Mares makes the pick and a penalty at the end of it, too. The intended receiver was Walker. Penalty marker sits at the 40-yard line. Mares' second interception of the season. It was an interception. 
After the play, personal foul, late hit on the intercepting team, number seven, 15 yards, first down, Lewis and Clark. It's a tough break for the Pios. The boy came in after Walker and Mares were engaged down the field. Mares falling backward, had the ball kind of just land in his lap. Pioneers need a break, trailing 14 nothing, and they get it. On the big play by Mara has been immediately have a tough break. The 15 yard penalty moves Lewis and Clark back to their own 43. Kraus the tight end, McGee the slot receiver near side, guest on the bottom. Bodai split to the top, first and 10 from the 43 of PLU. McGee throws himself, lefty down the field, Bodai has it at the 31. Up the number is 20 and stopped past the 15 yard line, couldn't achieve the 10, Rylander took him down. A very similar play to the one that PLU scored on. A 46 yard play. McGee to Bodai. Pioneers first down, Bodai is off the field. Navarrete behind the quarterback, Sivanksa. Now to the right side, motion from the left. Cordova, fake to Cordova, handoff Navarrete. And he's grabbed at the ankles and brought down Kalen Davis White with the TFL. His third of the year takes Lewis and Clark back to the 16 yard line. Navarrete cannot get going in the first half. Powers is in it back. Bodai split to the left side. Lopez tight end left, Kraus tight end right. Snap went past Sivanksa, picked up by Powers, and he runs to the right hand side. Powers just saved a big loss and is able to get it near the line of scrimmage again. Barton comes back in for Schroyer, adds another linebacker to the mix for PLU. Lewis and Clark third down. At about 16, they can get a first down inside the two. Snap to Sivonkson, throws right, caught, guest to the pylon. And stopped just a yard shy, taken out of bounds by Elwin. Big play though, a 16 yard pickup, first and goal, Lewis and Clark. 46 yard reception by Bodai, a 16 yard reception by Guest. Pioneers trail 14 0, timeout taken. Pacific Lutheran, now their first time Pacific out. Pacific Lutheran. to go second quarter, PLU takes its first time out, 14-0. Pioneers finally get the ball moving. They brought in Tyron Sivanksa to throw the football, but it was the handoff to McGee who wound up and threw down the field. McGee the lefty out of Bremerton, Washington, and Sean Bodai makes a huge reception. Pioneers go I formation out of the timeout with Herman leading the way for Navarrete. Double tight end set. Lutes have four across the line and seven in the box. Snap handoff, Navarrete crashes to the goal line and he's in! Touchdown, Lewis and Clark. A one yard rushing touchdown for the Pios, the sixth rushing touchdown of the year by Navarrete. And now Alex Koga on for the PAT out of the hold of Cordova. Pioneers trail by eight. Koga sends it up, 
and through. An interception by Anakin Morris. A big play down the field on the pass from Elijah McGee. And a touchdown by Navarrete gives Lewis and Clark a 14-7 deficit. 7.39 to go in the second quarter from Lewis and Clark College. Uh, we got a replay action. Let's take a look at the replay. Navarrete did a nice job scoring it. For some reason, the replay won't fire. We're using an impromptu, an improvised setup today. And for some reason, we can't get that one to go. What might help, too, is make sure, as I talk to Lily on air and through the back end comms, maybe the replay machine has to hit cut first to get it into the player. That could be potentially why. Cut within the replay clip section. That could be why. All right, let's get Moses on the kickoff, and we'll try to take a look at that replay after the kick. Lewis and Clark trails now 14-7. 7.39 to go in the second quarter. Fielded on the near side, Chaffin has it, who threw the touchdown pass for PLU. Works in the middle, finds a hole, squeezes it through traffic. Just kept going on the same line, and he's all the way to the 45-yard line. That's a big, big play by Chapman. There's the handoff that Navarrete, big hole, nice work between the Pioneers left guard Kasson and Lloyd at the center. First to 10 PLU. Bates are back out starting from the 46. So bobbled as he tried to pull it back on the handoff. Able still round the right side corner and go out of bounds for positive yardage. Bates are off an INT, his fourth interception thrown this year. Second down and five. On a shift into the left side of the formation. Three down linemen for Lewis and Clark. Handoff White, second level. Right side, up the numbers. Stiff arm trying to get Bushman off of him and he will not relent. Bushman able to take him down. Penalty marker is out. As White's rush goes all the way to the 22 yard line. 27 yard gain by White, penalty marker down on the far side. Bushman in his junior season from Happy Valley, Oregon. Referee is Ricky Robke. No foul. Face mask on the defense, number 40. Half the distance to the goal from the end of the run. First down. That's a big play by White. And Bushman was trying to do whatever he could to get him down. Commits the 15-yard penalty. So a 43-yard exchange. And PLU is first and 10 from the Lewis and Clark 11, leading 14-7. Just under seven minutes to play. In the opening half, White the deep back. Receiver to the right, pair of receivers to the left. Bates to the quarterback, chest high snap, handoff White. It's faked it, worked it to the right, goes all the way into the end zone for a touchdown. And a penalty marker at the very end of that one as well. Bates are an 11 yard touchdown run. Pulled that one out very late. Personal foul, late hit, number 13 of the defense. That penalty will be enforced on the kickoff, 15 yards. Two big 15 yard penalties on that drive against Lewis and Clark, the 11 yard touchdown run. 
stands by Bainter. Third rushing touchdown of the year for the junior quarterback. And PLU's lead is back to two scores. Hilliard on for the PAT. That's good. Let's take a break. 6.30 to go. Second quarter. Pacific Lutheran answers and leads 21-7. Lewis and Clark College in Portland, Oregon. This is Pio Street. Four-yard touchdown drive for PLU. A big 27-yard run by Malik White helped the cause. A couple of penalties for the Pios, one of which at the end of that touchdown is why this kick goes out of the end zone. And Lewis and Clark starts from its own 25. So the Pioneers had three straight three and outs to start the game and then picked up their first first down of the game when Tyron C. Vongsa came in for starter Cruz Montana. It was a 23-yard reception that was negated, but the Pioneers did pick up a first down on that drive. And then after Anakin Mares grabbed the second interception of the year, the Pioneers scored for the first time, trailing 14-0, made it 14-7, but the PLU answers right away. Now our score 21-7 with six and a half to play in the second quarter. Sivangsa, the transfer, stays in the game. As Navarrete to his left side, first and 10 from the 35, Navarrete handoff. Right side crash play, and one of the best runs of the game so far for Navarrete. Ford helped make the tackle. Tyler Perpigan in there as well. Gain of three, second and seven, Lewis and Clark. Quick snap, handoff, Navarrete. Goes around the right side block of Lopez, and down low, Perpignan there again. Gain of two, so it sets up third and five for Lewis and Clark. And that's one difference in this game is Lewis and Clark has not had the success on first down that PLU has experienced for sure. Noah Hobbs, the receiver in the slot to the right side of the formation. See Vonksa, throws and intercepted. Rylander ran right in front of Ben Burnham read the play and makes the pick at the 30-yard line. First interception in a Pioneers uniform for C. Vongsa. And Rylander has his second pick of the year. First and 10, PLU with 5.44 to go in the second quarter. They start at the Lewis and Clark 30. Bainter is the quarterback. White the running back. To the left side hash mark going right to left. Pioneers blitz. White cuts it to the left side. Chang has him immediately. It goes almost the whole rest of the width of the field to tackle White for a modest gain of one. There's an injured Pioneers player down on the far side. It's Ono. Ono gets up and heads toward the athletic training staff. Pioneers are bringing Justin Colvin to replace Ono. Stops the clock with 5.29 to go in the second quarter. 
21-7 lead for PLU, and the Lutes trying to add to it after the interception by Ryland. Hope Hensley, Bushman, the linebackers. David Seha is in a defensive tackle between Chang and Pusung Zita. Meinhard out there as well, the linebacker. Colvin, the new DB on the near side of the formation defensively. Play action, Bainter, great time. Throws across the middle and just too far to the reach of Rendon and incomplete at the goal line. McConnell LeBoy, a former All-Northwest Conference second team selection in 2019, has shifted to safety. First home game for LeBoy, did not get a play. The Pioneer 66-14 win over Whittier back on September 18th. Three receivers right, one to the left, that's Kime. One running back for PLU, third and nine. One of the longest third downs of the game for the Lutes. Pioneers rush five. Bainter spins away, goes to the near side. Pointing, throwing. High ball, tipped around and incomplete at two receivers in the vicinity. Both Walker and Talon were there. Brings up fourth down and nine. Clock stops with 5.03 to play. Back to the same formation for PLU. Lutz tried to go for it on fourth down. The three of 10 this year in this situation. Snap, Bainter, flush left. Starts to scramble, racing for the mark. Gets the first down, pushed out by Hensley and Meinhard right at the 15 yard line. A 14 yard gain on fourth down. First and 10 PLU leading 21-7. Lutz trying to get their first conference win of the year, as is Lewis and Clark. Walker with a touchdown reception split to the right. Rendon inside in the slot, Kime left side. Fullback is Ane, left side of the quarterback, Bainter. Bainter faked the handoff to the right. White had already cut to the left, and Hensley picks up a quarterback sack all the way back to the 18-yard line. Brings it back to the 19-yard line. Clock winds to under four. Head coach Brant McAdams, the 10th head coach ever at PLU. In his fourth season leading the program. On A to a traditional tight end spot to the right. Three on the play clock. Snap, Bainter hands off White. Twists around a defender. Breaks another tackle. Racing to the goal line and White is in. That was a tough run for the Lutz senior, and it's a touchdown for PLU. White's second touchdown run of the game. And with 3.40 to play in the second quarter, the Lutz are in control 27-7. Hilliard's PAT is good. So 3.40 to play second quarter. It's 28-7 PLU. It's a beautiful day in Portland, Oregon. More than I think they predicted. Likely expected the temperature to be around 55, and instead we're seeing temperatures closer to 60 today, but very sunny and more importantly dry. We saw an incredibly wet contest in the home opener this year against Whittier. Lewis and Clark won that 66-14. The Pioneers are off a loss in Spokane against number 18th ranked Whitworth, but they outrushed the Pirates 195 to 99. We'll check the numbers at halftime. A very good chance that the Pioneers are 
maybe under 30 or 40 yards rushing, if that. Credit the PLU defense came in seventh in the Northwest Conference in rushing defense, and they've been able to clamp down on Lewis and Clark so far in this game. They lost 27-14 to the Lutes last week at home against George Fox. Hilliard to kick it away. Pioneers have two returners, Holton to the near side. And Powers on the far side. Holton underneath it at the 15. Near side hash. Slower, then accelerates. 35 yard line out of an ankle tackle, driving the legs backward. And big congratulations from running backs coach Marcus Lattimore grabs Holton off the ground after a good return to the 45. Pioneers have not been in awful field position. They just cannot get the chains moving. And the last possession ended in a Sivonksa pick, his first with Lewis and Clark transfer out of College of the Siskiyous. Sivonksa comes back out with Navarrete to his left. Lloyd is the freshman center, two receivers to the top, tight end Lopez, and receiver Guest to the bottom. Play action. Sivonksa over the middle, and incomplete Guest had Rylander on him the whole time at the PLU 40 yard line. That's guess the transfer from Occidental. He comes off, Holton is in. McGee, the slot receiver up to the top with Bodai. There's a big 20 plus yard reception in this game. Play action, Navarrete picked up the blitz. Sivonksa scrambles to the right, and is dragged down. Perfigan able to make the play. Positive yardage for Lewis and Clark up to the 49. That was a huge pickup the by the six. running back, Navarrete, on the blitz. Third down and six. Pioneers have struggled on third down today. Powers is the running back. Snap, Sivanksa, six-man rush. Pumps, throws, and behind McGee, who's hit hard. Cross midfield by Davis White. It's fourth down. Punt unit comes out for the Pioneers. Fourth, three and out. Seven possessions a day for the Pioneers. They also had one that ended in an interception. Richardson to kick it away from the 35. Sigler back at the Lutz 20. Freshman kicker Richardson had one inside the five. This one takes a forward roll. Was going kind of end over end and then switched to the more rounded version of a roll and down at the nine. It's a good kick by Richardson. Pioneers defense, they can get a three and out. Lewis and Clark has a shot to maybe score points at the end of the half. Lewis and Clark also has the right to the football to start the second half. PLU from its own nine yard line. Baines through the quarterback. Played very nicely so far today. Offset eye formation. The right hand side. Again, Bainter fakes and no one's there, but has all sorts of time dancing on the goal line. Lang chases and throws it incomplete at Ricky Sakai. On the near side, brings up second and 10 with 2.46. The Pioneers do not have to spend a timeout. Chang, Bleemer and Lang are the front three for Lewis and Clark. Jordan Fajardo's in at linebacker, left side of the defensive formation. Second and 10, Bainter, high snap, brings it down to White. The initial surge by Lewis and Clark closed the door, and White able to go to the right side. Ono is back out there for the Lewis and Clark secondary. Gain for White of about three, sets up third and seven. Third down five. The 
starting secondary on the field right now for Lewis and Clark. It's officially a five yard game. Third and five, Lewis and Clark's defense from the Lutes 15 yard line. Two receivers near side, one to the right side, white out of the backfield in motion. Bainter, keeper the whole way, sidesteps one, gets out of another, first down carry up to the 25 yard line. Meinhard had the tackle, but a 10 yard gain. The Lutes, where we've seen Bainter score on an 11 yard run, that was a big third down conversion. First and 10 from the Lutes, 25. Under two minutes to play. Throwing right side, and a quick catch for pickup of 10. Bossa has it at the 35. Bossa, sophomore out of Captain Cook, Hawaii. 5'11", 175. Clock winds at the start of this snap right at 136. Pioneer's defense has been out there a lot today. Baines are quick throw right side and another out route. They just went to the same play. Another catch of 11 yards, first down PLU and out of bounds, wasted just three seconds. Bam comes off the field. Hope, Meinhard, Hensley, and Bushman, the linebackers for Lewis and Clark. Ane is the slot receiver near side on the inside of Sakai. White shifts to the left side of the quarterback, Bainter, first and 10. Pioneers blitz. Bainter backpedaling, rolling left, throwing near side and incomplete. Gonzalez was tied up with Sakai and a very late penalty marker comes out. It really did look like Sakai was trying to impede Gonzalez getting to that football. Both teams have had an interception in this game. Pioneers came in third in the conference with five to their credit. PLU has six coming into today. Stops the clock with a minute 26. Lewis and Clark trailing 28-7. There is no foul for offensive pass interference on number 11. The ball was legally grounded. That was one of those situations where I wasn't able to see the start of the break where Gonzalez started to look toward the sideline, but it definitely seemed when I caught up to it through the binoculars that Gonzalez was going for the football. I was surprised that there wasn't a flag quickly but now also surprised that it wasn't picked up, or well, that was picked up, excuse me. Either way, second and 10, PLU from its own 46-yard line. Bainter, draw play, quarterback through the middle, and caught from behind by Lang. Bushman helped on the front side as well, gain of seven. And to keep this drive going, PLU has two timeouts, trying to add to a 28-7 lead. Third down and four, Bainter, keeper, and this time the Pioneers read it nicely. Immediately through, Husung Zita, able to get to the quarterback, but a penalty marker comes out at the very end of the play. Pioneers had stopped PLU for a loss of two. Pioneers are ripping at the football. Pusang Zita converted linebacker down to the defensive front out of San Francisco. Six foot, 215 pounds with the TFL this season. Clock pauses at 50 seconds to go. And the officials are talking to head coach Jay Losey on the near sideline. Losey in his seventh season as the head coach for Lewis and Clark. Yeah. 
play to the 35 yard line, line the game, brings fourth, fourth down. down long after the play unsportsmanlike conduct number 74 of the defense 15 yards there will be no 10 second runoff the game clock will start on the snap set to 5-0 please so they reset the game clock to 50 they're going to punt That's the penalty on Ryan Lusk. The Pioneers have three timeouts and will get the ball with around 40 seconds left. Pioneers in on the play. McGee has it at the 20 yard line and immediately harassed Wyatt Winkle. Drove McGee back at the 20 yard line and that's where forward progress is. So the Pioneers literally have 41 seconds left, 28 7. And I think we can look at the replay if you want to here. Pioneers bring out Sivanksa. We can take a look at it after the first down play. So Sivanksa and the Pioneers offense out first and 10. Navarrete is the deep back, handoff Navarrete and works the left side. Peel has been tackling them low all day, a quick gain of three and a timeout taken by Lewis and Clark. Time out, Lewis and Clark. Here's the play that led to the penalty. Bainter was stacked up working to the left side. And at the very end, Pioneers were ripping at the football. And the official reached for the flag. Bainter runs the ball so well. And we can see that the average coming into today. Bainter at about 5.2 yards per carry. Had a long run of 18 coming in today. Picked up runs of 11 and 14 yards in this game. White, a touchdown run of six yards, opened the scoring for PLU. And Chaffin found Walker on a 32 yard pass. 11 yard Bainter run and a 19 yard White run. 28 points for PLU. Lewis and Clark second down, handoff left. Navarrete, one of his best holes of the day, and plows over the top of Sean Kim. And a first down up to the 31 yard line. Pauses the clock with 29 seconds left. Pioneers run to the spot. Clock winds. Lewis and Clark has two timeouts. Navarrete to the right-hand side. Penalty marker is out. Navarrete able to pick up yardage to the 41-yard line. Penalty marker trailed the play, 13 seconds to go. There have been a lot more penalties in this game. And really, either the first two games, or rather the last two games for Lewis and Clark. Pioneers had just won against Whitworth. This one's against Lewis and Clark. Chop block, number 51 and 64 of the offense. 15 yards from the previous spot. Second down. It's a big loss. The chop block takes Lewis and Clark back to the 17 yard line. And the Pioneers have to wait for the officials to huddle together. Second and 25 for Lewis and Clark. Bodai Start the on my ready. Penalty moves the ball. Bodai to the top of the formation. McGee and guess the receivers on the bottom side. That's Savanksa, the quarterback. 
took over at the start of the Pioneers' fourth series. Handoff Navarrete. Very explosive run, but tripped up as he ran past Gola. Second up. Throws for some reason, the end of the first half is here. We'll take a break, an extended break, as we go and work on some things downstairs. Big thanks to Lily Moffitt and the Pio Stream crew running the show today from Portland, Oregon. Thanks for being here. Halftime score, the Pacific Lutheran Lutes 28, Lewis and Clark Pioneer 7. You're watching from Lewis and Clark College in Portland, Oregon, Pio Stream. I'm Casey Jones and I teach a range of classes, general chemistry, organic chemistry, and also some advanced classes. And I have a research lab that currently I have four students working with me um, as part of the Rogers program. The summer experience is a way to get really deeply involved in the science that is here and be able to um, start to define what might be what you want to do next. So the brown bag gives our students a chance to explain their research and really show the context and the application of what they're doing to a very broad range of students and faculty. It's interesting to be able to communicate to other scientists what your work is and it forces you to learn how to talk about your subject so that not only experts in your field can understand it, but others can understand it as well, which I just believe is a good life skill. To talk about your research in a way that anybody can understand it really is a valuable experience, and it's something that you don't get a lot of practice for except in these contexts, because oftentimes you're giving a presentation to a classroom filled with people who know basically the same things that you do, but in a brown bag, you have to be able to um, explain and provide motivation for everything that you're working on and why it's important and why it's relevant to be studying. My favorite spot on campus is like right outside the Dovecote, little benches and flowers growing there, and you can get a little coffee at the Dovecote and sit there. My favorite spot on campus is definitely the weight room. Um, I get that uh, everybody loves like the gardens or uh, the manor house, but um, our facilities for athletics here are actually amazing too, and the weight room is definitely my favorite spot. My favorite spot on campus um, would either be the Glade outside of the athletic facilities or South Campus. What is my favorite spot on campus? I really like the back porch of the manor house. Um, it looks out on Mount Hood and on a clear day, it's super beautiful just to sit around with friends. Hi, I'm Nick Lombardi. Um, something I've learned at Winterham this year is how to communicate a vision. My biggest takeaway from Winterham is probably the networking. Getting to talk to everybody, connect with people for the future is one of the most valuable things and I did Winterham last year, came back for more this year. I think a way in which my liberal arts education has really helped me and my group uh, formulate our ideas is that concept of critical thinking and having many different backgrounds. Me being an econ major and my two groupmates being chemistry majors we really get that well-rounded background, well-rounded ideas. I think overall it's absolutely worth doing. Um, you, you find yourself not only being more prepared for, say, well, this next semester, um, on top of being more prepared for life in general. My number one job is to develop people 
And, uh, and my belief is if that we do that, that winning will take care of itself. My philosophy is to develop habits of success in individuals, in groups like our position groups and in the team um, so that all individuals involved can reach their potential. To me, pioneers are people who not only have the vision and, and the ability to dream of doing something big, but then also have the, the courage and, the, and the, the guts to be able to see it through and complete it. Being a pioneer, I feel like we embody a family mentality and uh, looking out for each other. Our relationship's kind of the core of this profession. It's like a second family to me. Like, they helped me out, we got each other's bags, and they'll just help me out in any way possible. Like, my second parent. My relationship with my coaches are really strong. I go to my coaches when I need any sort of help, advice, about whether it be football or school, picking out classes, making sure I stay focused and maintain the GPA I want, uh, helping me figure out my abroad programs, things like that. I take my relationships with my players as being uh, the first and foremost important aspect of my job, um, just because I think our entire jobs dependent on the experience of our student athletes. There's a strong academic sense of, of being a pioneer and a strong sense of excelling. Uh, I think a strong sense of welcoming differences and uh, allowing yourself to be who you are. Uh, and again, I think it's kind of cool because it revolves around Portland. And Portland's a fun place to, for outdoor programs, fun place for recreation, uh, food, and, uh, and just activities. I think people uh, get to be pioneers with just ideas. Um, they're people who, who execute and, and do things on grand levels that are um, in uncharted areas.
I'm Casey Jones and I teach a range of classes, general chemistry, organic chemistry, and also some advanced classes. And I have a research lab that currently I have four students working with me um, as part of the Rogers program. The summer experience is a way to get really deeply involved in the science that is here and be able to um, start to define what might be what you want to do next. So the brown bag gives our students a chance to explain their research and really show the context and the application of what they're doing to a very broad range of students and faculty. It's interesting to be able to communicate to other scientists what your work is and it forces you to learn how to talk about your subject so that not only experts in your field can understand it but others can understand it as well, which I just believe is a good life skill. To talk about your research in a way that anybody can understand it really is a valuable experience and it's something that you don't get a lot of practice for except in these contexts because oftentimes you're giving a presentation to a classroom filled with people who know basically the same things that you do but in a brown bag you have to be able to um, explain and provide motivation for everything that you're working on and why it's important and why it's relevant to be studying.
back at Griswold Stadium in Portland, those are your halftime stats. PLU on top, 28 to seven, and first down is a huge story in this game. A big difference as PLU has picked up 17 to Lewis and Clark's four. And then keep in mind, the Pioneers come in with the best rushing offense in the Northwest Conference. That has not been the case today, averaging just 1.3 yards per game. Pioneers penalized five times for 57 yards. And right now, PLU over doubling Lewis and Clark in total yardage. I'm Ryan Goff with our Pio Stream crew back in Portland, Oregon. Start of the second half of this Northwest Conference home opener for Lewis and Clark. The one and two Pioneers against the one and two PLU, Pacific Lutheran Lutes. Both teams 0 and 1 in conference play. Pioneers start off with a chance to get back on track offensively. Kick goes to the near side and out of bounds. So the Pioneers start from their own 35, which is the case on their second possession of the game. Referee is Ricky Robke. Kickoff out of bounds on the kicking team, number 25. The ball we placed 30 yards from the spot of the kick. Down it. So Lewis and Clark goes with Tyron Savangsa. Savangsa is back in, took over at the start of the fourth series for Lewis and Clark at quarterback and is back out to start the second half. First and 10 from the 35. Motion from the right side of the formation. Savangsa steps up through pressure, takes off, going left. Far hash marks outside the numbers. Good block by Isaac Cordova to help out Sivangza for a first down gain. And that's big. Again, the Pioneers just four first downs in the first half. And maybe they'll get back on track at the start of the second half. Pioneers with Alex Sandoval, Nathan Lean, Michael Lloyd, Matt Casson, and Mercury Campagno up front. Three receivers right, one to the left, snap. Sivangza, quick pass to McGee. Elijah McGee makes the reception. They can't twist out of a tackle by Cord Tuttle, the linebacker. Gain of one. Pioneers fell behind in the first quarter after a 10-place 69-yard drive of over five minutes. Malik White, a six-yard rush for PLU. Lutz scored three minutes into the second quarter on a 34-yard touchdown reception by John Walker to make it 14-0. Second and nine, Sivangsa, pump fake. Throws deep right side, and Guest can't get traction, but penalty marker is out. There have been so many penalties in this game. That one was thrown at the PLU 25-yard line. I need a number. Pass interference. Defense, number eight. 15 yards from the previous spot. Automatic, first down. So pass interference against Pacific Lutheran. Lewis and Clark's first drive, second half. Trailing 28-7, first minute of the third quarter. Pioneers did get a five-play, 43-yard drive, uh, drive put together with a minute 46 off the clock. Deontay Navarrete, a one-yard touchdown run. It was set up nicely. Here's a throw left side on first and 10. Screen route, McGee has it. Space and blocking. 20-yard line and tripped up just past the 20 toward the 19-yard line, a pickup of 19 and a first down for Lewis and Clark. This big 16-yard reception by Guest and a McGee pass to Bodai set up that touchdown for the Pioneers. They're only one of the game, but they're moving start of the third. Sivonksa hands off Evan Powers right side and able to trot forward for a gain of one. Low tackle made by Max Larson. Second and nine. 11-yard touchdown run by Eric Bainter, the quarterback, and a 19-yard rush by White. The other two touchdowns for PLU. The Lutes put up 21 points in the second quarter. Second down to nine, Lewis and Clark from the Lutes 18-yard line. Sivangsa with powers at the back. Looks right the whole way. Throws. Catch made. And Guest is split down at the 14-yard line. That's a four-yard gain. Sets up third and five. Mentioned first downs were hard to come by for the Pioneers in the opening half. On third down, Pioneers were two of eight. Lutes were three of seven on third down. Lutes did go for it once on fourth down. Third and four, Lewis and Clark from the PLU 13 yard line. Transfer quarterback Sivangsa with Navarrete to his left. First year running back. 
Hand off McGee, stretching it left. Good block by Navarrete. McGee cuts inside, a penalty marker is out. As Navarrete found a way to help McGee get that first down, but the penalty marker does not look promising for Lewis and Clark. During the run, holding, offense number 55. 10 yards from the spot of the foul, replay third down. Second holding call today by Campagno. Pioneers, penalties have been a problem today. And Lewis and Clark have been so good entering today, second best in the conference at just about 37 yards per game in penalties. 12.32 to go third quarter instead of a third and about four. It's a third and 12 for Lewis and Clark. Instead of a first down. See Vonksa steps up in the pocket, chased. Got away from one, but sandwiched by two more. Positive yardage down to the 18-yard line. There was initial pressure by Kalen Davis-White. The Pioneers come out with the field goal unit, but first an injured Lutz player. For PLU down at the 22-yard line. That's Eden Cisneros, the junior from Forks, Washington. Penalty is a big issue today for Lewis and Clark, but a great crowd, a great crowd here at Griswold Stadium. Both teams with seven points off turnover so far. Each team has thrown an interception. Cisneros gets up to his feet. Pioneers penalized six times for 67 yards so far. PLU four times for 50 yards. So that was after the third down, makes it fourth and nine, and Alex Koga comes out to set up for a 35-yard field goal from between the hash marks. Koga made his first last week. It was a 35-yarder. He's one of three on the year. Now the hold of Isaac Cordova. Kick is up on its way. And through, Pioneers pick up a field goal. Much needed three points in a game that the Pios trailed by 21 entering the second half. Points on the first drive of the third quarter for the Lewis and Clark Pioneers. And we'll come back with more in just a bit on Pio Stream. Nineteen yard run by or nineteen yard pass play, excuse me, by McGee on the eleven yard run by Sivonksa helped the Pioneers pick up points to start the third quarter. And Lewis and Clark trails twenty eight to ten. Eight play forty seven yard drive, three oh five off the clock for the Pios. Now Hayden Moses kicks it deep for Lewis and Clark. This one on the ground rolls and is picked up. Manuel Fallon. And brought down, twisting. Keegan Holly was in the mix on that tackle, which is ultimately made by Daniel Pham. So here comes Lewis and Clark's defense back out. Nico Lang, Ari Bleemer, and Cameron Chang across the front. Linebackers Justin Hope, Jake Bushman, Sam Meinhard, and Jordan Fajardo. Quarterback for PLU. Eric Bainter. He's been good today. One pick, and other than that, a very well put together, balanced offense today. Handoff Malik White left side, and McConnell LeBoy puts the shoulder in, tackle after a gain of five. Up front, you see Thomas Jacobs and Ryan Lusk with Vincent Lovato, who did not play much toward the 
start of the second quarter, maybe late first quarter, is back in the game at left tackle. Near side tight end is Lake Anna, or Anna, excuse me, Anne. In motion. Bainter fakes the handoff to Darius Chaffin and runs through the middle for a first down gain. Pioneers with that new number on the left side of the helmet. New this year. McConnell Boy and Tanner Ono are the safeties for Lewis and Clark. Joseph Gonzalez and Anakin Mares are the corners. Far side, John Walker and Alex Rendon split out. Near side receiver is Jace Kime. First and 10 from the 42 on PLU's half, leading 28 10. Lutz with the football. Throw right. Rendon has the catch in front of Ono. And able to gain a couple yards after the catch up to the 50 yard line. That's a first down play of eight. And that's one thing that stood out too in that first half is first down yardage by the Lutes. They picked up a good amount of yards on their opening play of each series. Opening play of each series, set of downs, to be honest. Second down and two from midfield. Four down lineman for the Pios. Snap, Bainter hands off White, and this time, no room to run. Meinhard comes through with the stop. No gain, it is second and two to third and two. Nine fifty-three to play third quarter, PLU 28, Lewis and Clark 10. Three of seven on third down, PLU in the first half. They have to get it past Lewis and Clark, 48. Two receivers near side. I formation, White the deep back. Lene the full back. Baines are under center. Hard snap count, penalty markers out. The play is dead. There was contact on the ball. Defensive offsides, number 91 with contact. Five yards, results in a first down. Ari Bleemer, who's had such a great year this year, eager to make a play on a key third down. And for the third time in this game, a third down, or rather, a first down is earned by PLU on a penalty. 9.26 to go third quarter. Pioneers trailing 28-10. Flip the formation, ball placed just inside the far hash. Walker, the lone split out to the right. First and 10 for the Pios, 45, out route. And too high out in front of Walker, the sophomore receiver. Nico Skinner is back out there at the right guard position. And Jacob Espinosa is the right tackle for PLU. Ga game clock operator, 9-0-3, please. 9-0-3. Game clock operator didn't change or stop the clock after the incomplete pass. Second and 10. Pioneers have David Seha in at the defensive tackle spot, replacing Bleemer. Second and 10, Pacific Lutheran tied in left side. Three down linemen for the Pios wearing black. Both teams with matte black helmets. Pioneers blitz through the middle. Bainter throws right side and it's caught. And lassoed down by Mares. Reception made by Walker. Short of the first down. Picks up nine. It's third and one. Marvin Pusen Zita back into the game. Pioneers left defensive end. Chang stays in on the right. Seha in the middle. 3-4 base for Lewis and Clark. The new defensive coordinator is Randy Heath. Fourth year with the team versus DC. Snap Bainter, handoff White through the middle and plunges forward for a gain of three, enough for a PLU first down. So Lewis and Clark 32 and the Lutes are putting together a nice answer drive to Lewis and Clark's scoring drive to open up the second half. Raymond Paz is in. Sophomore out of Hawaii, 6'1", 270. Oh, 
four-man defensive front. 28-10 lead, Pacific Lutheran. White the running back, five yards back, Bainter the quarterback. Long snap count, Pioneers rush four. Bainter pumps, throws, far sideline, open man, Walker has it, and he's in for the touchdown. Pacific Lutheran TD, penalty marker sits at the line of scrimmage. Holding, offense number 74, 10 yards from the previous spot, still first down. Wipes out a 32 yard touchdown reception. Seven fifty-seven to go. Pioneers have certainly had a difficult time with penalties in the game. That one is hard for PLU. It wipes off a 32-yard touchdown, and instead it's now first and 20. Bland is the near side receiver. Handoff White. And a slow rush through the middle, stood up. Able to lumber forward for a gain of three. White came in averaging 5.9 yards per carry. But a very good game for the Lutes at 6.9 per carry. Today, two touchdowns. Pioneers won the last meeting. On their way to their first four win season in 2019, their first four win season since 2011. They went four and five two seasons ago. No 2020 season for Lewis and Clark because of the coronavirus pandemic. Second and 17, Pioneers shifting. Linebackers to the line, rush four, throw right side. Receptions made by Walker and smashed down. Pioneers immediately on the tackle. Hensley able to make the play. A loss. So the Pioneers have had a tough time stopping PLU on third down today, but this is a third and 18. Bainter, snap, four receivers. Immediately rolls to the left, chased by Chang. Tries to throw and has to ditch it. Chang was on him. Bushman was there too. And it's fourth down. All West Region back in 2019. Cameron Chang out of Honolulu with 16 career sacks, almost picked up another. And that forces the Lutes to punt. Fourth and 18. Elijah McGee back for Lewis and Clark to return the kick from Max Bokenugan. Gets it away, Bokenugan. McGee waves fair catch, lets it fly over his head about seven or eight yards deeper and it goes in the end zone. That was great misdirection by McGee. Signals fair catch and runs up on it. Kind of freezes the coverage team for PLU. Pioneers have the football back with 6.13 to go. Third quarter, 28-10. Pioneers trail by 18. Leading tackler for Lewis and Clark today. Alex Hensley has six. Mares has five, as is Chang. No sacks for Chang. Excuse me, split a half sack earlier with Hensley. Pioneers, first and 10 from their own 20-yard line. See Vongsa, smacks the hands together, calls for the snap, handoff, Navarrete, and he rumbles through the middle, able to carry it up to the 27 for a gain of seven. And Navarrete and the Pioneers rushing offense get going. Two receivers either side. See Vongsa looking right, pulls it down, runs through the middle, and there's about six loots Encircling him, still able to get a first down up to the 31 yard line. Davis White has the tackle. Nasser Ford is up front. 
along with Nico Gala. Right side defensive end is Max Larson in between Aiden Schroyer. Quick snap on first down. See Vonksa throws left side and it's skipped in front of the receiver. It was intercepted in front of the receiver. Larson makes the pick. The results of the play is an interception. First down, PLU. I was watching it through binoculars, and that's why I went so quickly to the skip. It looked like it hit the turf. Larson, the sophomore, made a great play if that was the case. That's what the officials say. Ruled an interception, the second pick by Sivonksa today. 5.31 to go third quarter, 28-10. PLU on top. Three receivers and a fullback. Handoff, this is Michael Martinez quickly through the line, second layer easily, and gets out of an ankle tackle and all the way down to the Lewis and Clark 13, a 20 yard gain. So it's just like that, PLU dressed in white on the road. Moving the football, two receivers left, one to the right. Bainter's the quarterback. Lene, the fullback, points out something. Snap, and it's dead before the snap. It was an awkward timing on that snap for the Lutes. Illegal snap infraction on the offense, number 74. Hey. Five yards, still first down. I was gonna say, that's usually the case, right? Everyone else starts moving except the ball's not ready and then the center, Lusk, snapped it. And that's why it looks so awkward with Bainter dropping it. Strange sequence moves the Lutes back first and 15, leading 28-10 with five minutes to go. Third quarter. DJ Smith and Ari Bleemer in the middle of the Pioneers defensive line. Lang and Pusung Zida are the outside ends for Lewis and Clark. Crowd gets loud. First and 15, PLU from the Lewis and Clark, 18. Motion, Martinez to the left side. Painter, good time. Kind of shotguns it over to the left side, incomplete. Hope had a chance at it for the Pioneers. It's incomplete, brings up second down. <laughs> Use the word shotgun, maybe more of a shot put. That was not the cleanest release by Bainter, who's been very good today. Bainter, 11 of 23 for 77 yards. He's rushed for a touchdown, but has not passed for one. That went to Darius Chaffin. Took the end around and then threw it down the field to Walker. Second down and long. Play action, Bainter. Pressured from the left, throws over the middle. Penalty marker is out. There have been so many penalty markers on pass routes today. Pass interference on the defense, number 22. The foul's enforced at the spot of the foul. Automatic, first down. So because the Lutes are inside the 20, can't measure off 15, so they go to the spot. By far, Lewis and Clark's worst penalty game of the year. First and goal, Pacific Lutheran, with 4.30 to play in the third quarter, leading 28-10. This drive started at the Lewis and Clark 33 off the second interception thrown by Lewis and Clark quarterback Tyron Savangsa. First and goal. Two receivers to the near side of the field, split backs, handoff Martinez right side, cuts inside of the block by Ane. Pioneers make the stop. Hensley and Lang limited to maybe a half yard, if anything. Pacific Lutheran has scored on rushes of six yards, 11 and 19. This is a second down and seven. They actually give him more of forward progress than I realized. Second down and goal from the seven. Martinez motions left, screen play out to Martinez. Good blocking by the receivers. Chang tried to catch up and saves a touchdown. 
Chang caught up to Martinez and stopped him one yard shy. And Kime is the injured PLU player, slow to get up. Head athletic trainer Jeremy Lowe out to check on the injured PLU loot. Here comes PLU's athletic training staff. Lowe's on the left side of your screen. Became the head athletic trainer at Lewis and Clark this past off season after Mark Petrock was named the permanent director of athletics and physical education had been the head athletic trainer for Lewis and Clark for 30 years. Excuse me, it was in the summer of last year Started with the Lewis and Clark training staff back in 2003. Lowe's a former Lewis and Clark baseball player. As the front, Pioneers have to stop a third and goal from the one. Martinez has been in for the entirety of this series. Martinez without a rushing touchdown this season. Stands back at the eight, now backs up to the nine behind Bainter, the quarterback. Third and goal. Bainter, option play right, Martinez into the end zone. Touchdown, PLU. The ball came out, but Martinez was already in there. And it's 34 to 10. So now PLU has scored touchdowns on both turnovers today by Lewis and Clark. Pioneers have done likewise on one takeaway, but it's 34 to 10, and Peyton Hilliard's on for the PAT. Had Ono in his face, but boots it through. 319 to go third quarter. Thanks for being with us from Portland, Oregon. Griswold Stadium, the Lutes lead Lewis and Clark 35-10 on Pio Street. Thanks for joining us for Lewis and Clark football. Stay tuned tonight, 6 p.m. Lewis and Clark volleyball takes on Whitman. That game to be seen on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, and at lcpioneers.com on Pio Stream. Yesterday, whew, it was a match. Lewis and Clark volleyball falls in five sets to undefeated and Northwest Conference leading Whitworth, a team that they had beat when Whitworth was on its way to a conference championship in the 2019 final home weekend. Pioneers had a shot in the third set to take a two sets to one lead and instead fell behind by that margin, did force a fifth, and Whitworth was able to win it. Big run, Desmond Holton, he's free to the near side, Holton up the near sideline. Touchdown, Lewis and Clark. It has not been a good day for the Lewis and Clark offense, so why not special teams? An 84-yard kickoff return by the freshman. And Lewis and Clark cuts it down to 35-16. Desmond Holton has some athleticism. Cruz Montana is bringing the uh, Pioneers offense out for a two-point conversion attempt. DJ Smith getting the crowd fired up. Navarrete deep behind under center. Montana, play action. Montana, person in his face, throws it, gives Navarrete a chance. Can't get there. Good initial stop 
by Elwin. And then Navarrete goes out of bounds. So the two point conversion fails. Would have made it a 17 point differential. Instead, Lewis and Clark down 35 16. Talked to the Pioneers offensive coordinator, assistant head coach Joe Bushman. Talked about this wide receiver group. You can see this if you go to lcpioneers.com and click on the fall spotlight where we took a look at the Lewis and Clark offense. There will be a defensive one coming up before the end of the season. But Holton is lightning fast. But also in the preseason during fall camp, watched Holton on the LC Pio's FB Instagram account hurdle over the high jump. Didn't high jump it, hurdled it. I don't know how high it was, but I've looked at that thing and figured it would be a challenge to just limbo underneath it, let alone watching somebody run up and hurdle it. Holton has some huge potential and shows it there on that 84-yard kickoff return TD. I mean, it's a wide margin, but something like that that happens in the third quarter when the momentum has not been there could be a big deal, especially as the defense gets set to take back to the field. Chaffin with the PLU return. Works from the near numbers to the near hash and through the middle of the field is still pushing forward. The whistle had not blown and it takes about six Lewis and Clark defenders to make that stop. Chaffin did not give up. Powers was in on the tackle. Last off the pile is Adrian Daffy, the tight end out of Berlin, Germany. So PLU answers Lewis and Clark's kickoff return TD with a decent return of its own. And PLU starts from its own 43-yard line. Eric Bainter, junior out of Bothell, Washington, 6'3", 190. As Malik Might, the senior running back behind him, throw to the near side, tipped and it's intercepted! Joseph Gonzalez up the near sideline, cuts inside of Bainter and he's caught from behind. Tipped by LeBoy, picked by Gonzalez, his second pick on this field this year, his second of the season. Pioneers have the ball at the PLU six. 2.52 to go in the third, 35-16. Montana's the quarterback, I formation, double tight end. Pitch play left, Navarrete. Cuts around the Herman block and cannot get out from tripped up by Colby Rylander. Saves the touchdown after a gain of a couple. Navarrete was close to his seventh rushing touchdown of the year, his second of the game. Pioneers keep the formation, split out McGee left side. Snap, play action. Montana rolls to the right, throws, end zone, caught, touchdown. Pios. Logan Herman, the fullback, with the touchdown. And Lewis and Clark makes it 35-22, two-point conversion attempt. Navarrete, the deep back. Daffy split right. Lob play, Daffy back corner, he has it. Touchdown to two point conversion. And the Pios make it 35-24. Daffy 6'3", 215 pounds, tight end out of Germany. And he scores some points, Pioneer's first two point conversion of the year. Well, 
Holton, an 84-yard kickoff return touchdown. And in less than a minute, the Pioneers get a tipped pick by Joseph Gonzalez. And eight more points. It was 35-10, it's now 35-24. Moses to kick off. Chaffin from the 10 on the run, through the middle, 20. Block inside, 30. Slashes back to the left and is brought down by Julian Colvin. The PLU 36 yard line. Painter threw an interception in the first. Led to Apio's touchdown drive of 57 yards. Navarrete scored on the touchdown run this time becomes a touchdown catch for Herman. From the 38, handoff for the receiver, fell and he's dropped for a loss. LeBoy was there. Second down and 12, PLU with a minute 50 left in the third. Offset eye, White is the running back. Two receivers near side. Hope, the linebacker up on the line of scrimmage. Hand off White, breathing room through the middle, and Hope ended up catching up with him across the field and drags him down at the 45, pickup of 10. It's a big third and two for the Lewis and Clark defense. Jordan Fajardo, was credited with that last tackle for loss. Big third and two for PLU. Snap to Bainter, handoff White, good blocking on the right side, spins around and has the first down to midfield. White's helped up Skinner and Espinosa on the right side of that Offensive line for PLU is good. Oof, that was a nice block. White kind of limps off with under a minute to play in the third quarter. PLU leading 35-24. Martinez the running back. An option handoff and it's a good second effort. Martinez spins out of the initial herd, spins outside, and through the middle, tackled by Hope at the 45 of Lewis and Clark. Lutzer 6 of 11 now after that last third down conversion. And with 16 seconds left in the third quarter, the Lutz head for the sideline. The Pioneers score 14 quick points. A kickoff return, TD. And another touchdown set up by the interception by Joseph Gonzalez. It took a total of 30 seconds of game time and the Pioneers are within 11 at the end of the third quarter. From Griswold Stadium, Pacific Lutheran Lutes 35, Lewis and Clark Pioneers 24. The conclusion when we come back on Pio Stream. I'm Nick Lombardi. Um, something I've learned at Winterham this year is how to communicate a vision. My biggest takeaway from Winterham is probably the networking. Getting to talk to everybody, connect with people for the future is one of the most valuable things and I did Winterham last year, came back for more this year. I think the way in which my liberal arts education has really helped me and my group uh, formulate our ideas is that concept of critical thinking and having many different backgrounds. Me being an econ major and my two group mates being chemistry majors we really get that well-rounded background, well-rounded ideas. I think overall it's absolutely worth doing. Um, you First play of the fourth quarter, PLU up by 11. Second and five from the Lewis and Clark 45. Bainter throws far side. 
The catch is made. Rendon has enough for a PLU first down. A gain of seven down to the Lewis and Clark 38. Third quarter numbers as we move into the fourth quarter. Eric Bainter, the quarterback, 12 of 25, 83 yards. He's thrown two picks, but has run for a touchdown. He has 78 yards rushing. Malik White, 16 carries, 108 yards, two TDs. 6.8 yards per carry, but Michael Martinez is in. He's averaged 5.8 per carry. First and 10 snap, Pacific Lutheran. And through the middle, not much running room at all. A collective shutdown but Smith was in there to bring him down, a loss of one. Walker's the leading receiver for PLU, four catches, 48 yards. Rendon has five receptions, 38 yards. Meanwhile, for Lewis and Clark, Tyron Sivonksa, eight of 14, 90 yards, two picks. Cruz Montana, four of five, and a touchdown on the last Pioneers possession. Second down and 11. PLU from the Lewis and Clark, 39 yard line. Three receiver set, tight end left. Roll out. And a quick throw, falling down reception with the feet and bounds, Mark Bossa has it. Penalty marker from across the field. Bossa got to the 31. Penalties have certainly been an issue today. Downfield on the offense, number 54. Five yards from the previous spot. Still second down. An eligible player downfield, Vincent Lovato, the right, or rather, left tackle. 13.44 to go fourth quarter. Seventh penalty on Pacific Lutheran. Pioneers have been whistled eight times for 83 yards. Penalty moves PLU back to the Lewis and Clark 44. Pioneers, Deontay Navarrete, 12. Carries 34 yards, 2.8 yards per carry. Sean Bodai, three receptions, 48 yards, four for 21 yards for Guest. Second down play, Bainter, keeper, right side. Hope around the waist, and Mares with the shoulder make the tackle at the 34. A gain of 10, and it's third and six. Six of 11 on third down for PLU. Came in converting about 33% of the time. Have been better today. Two receivers to the left side. One to the near side is Bossa. From the right hash mark, third and six from the Lewis and Clark 34. And PLU had three on the play clock. Bainter looked at the referee and called timeout. timeout. Pacific Lutheran, their first time out of the half. So PLU huddles around Randy Heath. You see him, the bald head at the 30 yard line, gray top. Meanwhile, that's Pacific Lutheran out of Tacoma, Washington. Brant McAndrews is the fourth year head coach for the Lutes. Was a defensive coordinator at Trinity out in Texas, another Division III school before he was hired after a national search for the Lutes. There has been a long history of continuity with the PLU coaching staff, and then they went with Brant McAdams. Had formerly been the defensive coordinator in Tacoma and nearby Puget Sound. Pioneers will see Puget Sound in a couple of weeks for homecoming. 12.36 to go fourth quarter, third and six. After the timeout for PLU, White is back at running back. Trips receivers left, one to the right. Pioneers rush five. Throw right, out route. Bossa able to make the catch in front of Mares. He's made that play a couple of times. And down to the 23, another third down conversion. Clock winds under 12 and a half to play fourth quarter. Pioneers with 3.19 to go in the third quarter, trailed 35-10. An 84-yard kickoff return, touchdown by Desmond Holton. And Logan Herman's four-yard TD reception brings us to within 11, the margin. Snap, Bainter, handoff, White, left side line, and is smashed down. Hope with the play. 
Justin Hope has had a very nice game today. Pioneer sophomore linebacker out of Sacramento. Hope's seventh tackle tied for the game most by any Pioneers defender. Hensley and Chang also have seven. No gain. No, there was a gain. It's up to the down to the 20 yard line, a gain of four. It felt like a no gain tackle. Martinez, the running back, on second and six. Handoff Martinez. Lang lunged in from the running back's right. Might have got the ankle. Hensley was in on the stop as well. Maybe a gain of one. So again, another third down. Pioneers have to get off the field and force a potential field goal or a fourth down situation for PLU with under 11 to play in the fourth. Pacific Lutheran leads 35-24. Converted a third and six on this drive already. This is a third and, uh, third and five. 18 yard line of Lewis and Clark. Bainter passing all the way. Screen pass, one-armed in by Martinez, but no room to run. Meinhard, Morris, tackle at the 19-yard line. It's a loss of one. Big shift of personnel. It looks like a field goal try. Peyton Hilliard comes out to try to kick. Attempt for Hilliard to 36 yards from the right hash. Side winding kick is up and through. Thirty-eight twenty-four. PLU extends the lead. We're back to an even 14 points. In Portland, we're back at the moment on Pio Street. Nine fifty six to play in the fourth quarter. Peyton Hilliard kicks a thirty six yard field goal, longest of the season in the second of the year. It extends the Pacific Lutheran lead to thirty eight twenty four. PLU has led the entire game. Andrew Cornito from Federal A Washington set to kick it off. Rolls it on the ground, picked up by Holton, twenty yard line. Goes to the near side. Good block by Powers out in front. Chase out of bounds. Looked like Chen Tam Switzer, who forced Holton, who has already returned an 84 yard kick for a score, out of bounds. And here comes the Lewis and Clark offense. Cruz Montana's the quarterback, started the game. Cruz played three series, all three and outs. And Tyron Sivanga replaced him. Montana threw a touchdown pass last time out. Starts from their own 42. Montana up in the pocket. Wants to throw to the right side. And it's incomplete to guess at midfield. Montana really wanted to throw that. There was a lot of open space left. There's guest, the intended receiver. Pioneers got a good amount of transfers from Occidental. Skyak football program. That stopped last year. Montana, quick throw right side. That is to guest, and off of his hands, incomplete coverage there 
by Elwin. Guest was one of them. Isaac Cordova came from Occidental, as did Cade Knighton. Sam Meinhardt has been a great addition from the Occidental program as well. Third down and 10 for Lewis and Clark. Long snap count. Pioneers get a read from the sideline. 11 on the play clock. Snap to Montana. Lutes rush four. Montana steps up right and decides to run. Is hit and tackled by Tuttle at the 47 yard line. So the Pioneers have a fourth down and five. Nine nineteen to play in the fourth. Pioneers go for it on fourth down. They've made 50% of those tries this year. Fourth and five. Snap, Montana, play action. Throws over the middle, incomplete. Penalty marker out. <laughs> Intended for guests at the 43. Defensive pass interference, number eight. The penalty will be forced at the spot of the foul. Automatic first down. <clears throat> Rylander was the one called for it. I am doing a whole bunch of stuff when we're doing these games, but that was the one I think I've seen the most clearly. Definitely was grabbed onto guess before the pass got there. First and 10, Lewis and Clark from the 41 of PLU. Montana steps up, throws, and off the fingertips of McGee, smashing the turf with his hand. Visibly frustrated, he couldn't bring that one in second down. 8.59 to go fourth quarter. McGee out of Bremerton, Washington. In his junior season averaging 23 yards per catch, seven yards per rush. Pioneers like to get the ball in the McGee's hands. Right now, Lewis and Clark down 38-24 under center. Throw to the near side. Bodai lobs it over the top. Has a man. Couldn't bring it in. Noah Hobbs had it at the 27-yard line. Hobbs in his junior year out of Clackamas. It's a member of that Clackamas team that Coach Bushman was the head coach of, won a state title back in 2017. That was a great looking play. Quick throw out to Bodai, sucked the defense toward him, but he was it was a backward pass, it was a lateral. Navarrete in at the running back spot, third and 10 for Lewis and Clark. Montana throws out Navarrete, space right side, and tries to hurdle over a defender to stay in bounds. Could not do that, but has the first down to the PLU 29 yard line. And one of the Lutes is hurt. Kaysen Higa started to try to get to the sideline and just took a couple of hops and fell down. Could not make it off the field. And that stops the clock with 8.48 to go in the fourth quarter. If you're just joining us, Pioneers trail 38-24. PLU's led the entire game and had built a few big leads in the contest. A Malik White six-yard rush halfway through the opening quarter made it 7-0. Pioneers fell behind 14-0 on a play similar to what we saw just a moment ago. Pass back to Darius Chaffin, who threw it forward 34 yards to John Walker, and the Lutes led 14-0 early second quarter. Pioneers five plays, 43 yards. Deontay Navarrete with a one-yard touchdown run. That was set up by a big 46-yard pass from McGee to Bodai. Lutes built a 28-7 halftime lead. Pios kicked a field goal. Lutz had a touchdown, made it 35-10. And the Pioneers with an 84-yard kickoff return TD and a pick that set up a short touchdown. Scott Lewis and Clark back in this game. First and 10 pass down the field. McGee had to lunge over his head to try to get it incomplete. Tam Switzer on the coverage. Good looking deep ball from Montana. Second and 10 for Lewis and Clark, down 38-24 with 8.30 to play in the fourth quarter. 
McGee in the slot with Bodai split out left. Fumble, Montana lost the snap. It went straight downward, and initially it looked like Davis White from PLU had the recovery, and he does. Lewis and Clark's third turnover of the game. Fumble on the exchange for Montana. PLU takes over with eight and a half to play in the fourth. Back out is Eric Bainter, the quarterback. From the 35, handoff, and White has three. Ivanga threw two interceptions, one before halftime and one after, and then after the last drive for Lewis and Clark results in a touchdown, Montana fumbles, and PLU has the ball back. Second down and seven, Pioneers blitz. Painter throws out route left side and incomplete, intended for Kime. Coverage there by Gonzalez. Another third down for PLU and one of the longest of the day. Time to the top of the formation. Rendon and Walker split down below. White, the running back, motions out on third and seven. Bainter keeper, the quarterback, following the block of Jacobs and had forward progress across the 45 for a first down. Hensley and Hope pushed him back, but not until a third and seven conversion. Slow to get up is the left tackle, Lovato. Third downs have been an area where PLU has just shined today. Seven of 13 on third down. And four of six in this half. Fourth game of the season for both teams. Injuries, I'm sure, always a concern when you get into the conference schedule. Pioneers. And PLU both structured their schedules, their nine game schedules with two non-conference games in September and then a bye week to get ready for Northwest Conference play. And I'm told that's typically by design, you try to get as healthy as you can entering the conference schedule. This is just the second conference game of the year. Both teams lost their opener last weekend. PLU was at home. Lewis and Clark lost on the road at Whitworth. This is their home conference opener. First and 10 from the 45. Snap to Bainter, handoff White and Lang from the side. Joined Bushman from the front. Loss on the run by White. Pioneers have eight tackles for a loss today. Compared to PLU's four. Clock winds under seven minutes to play in the fourth quarter though. And Lewis and Clark is down by 14. Lutz have had leads in this game. 21 and 25. Second down and 11. Tight end left for PLU. Bainter the quarterback. Three man rush. Scrambles to the left, gets out away from Chang, throws it out of bounds. Had Red Don down the field. Chang slaps his hands together. Cameron Chang is back for an additional year. But off an all West region season a couple of years ago. Oh 
almost got another sack, has a half sack in this game so far. PLU facing a third and 10. Already converted a third and seven on this drive. Four receivers, three to the top. Snap, Bainter keeps it. Runs to the right and is sidewinded by Alex Hensley, who lets out a row. Look at that. Pioneers stop Painter. Painter picks up three. So McGee's back to return the kick from Boo Kenugan. Forty-two yards per kick so far from PLU. That one's away. High kick. McGee does signal fair catch and has it behind the ten-yard line, about the nine. Forty-four-yard kick for Boo Kenugan. Lewis and Clark goes back to offense after a turnover the last time out. Nato Felina in the white shirt with the backwards hat. As Pioneers bring out the offense. Cruz Montana's the quarterback. 5.46 to go, fourth quarter, Pioneers down by 14. Navarrete to the right side of Montana, four receiver set, Bodai to the bottom. Screen play, Navarrete had it, but immediately red, Ashton Barton makes the tackle, gain of two. Pioneers go quickly, trailing by two scores. Snap, Montana. Rolls right, throws now route, Cordova catches it. PLU defender tried to make a big hit, couldn't bring him down. It's Tam Switzer. It's a gain of four. Pioneers offensive line intact, Lloyd is the center. Two receiver. Either side, McGee the slot to the near side. Montana, play action, throws. McGee has it, blocking in front. 25-yard line, first down. Is knocked down after a big game. Davis White made the hit. Pioneers the first down. 13-yard gain, 4.50 to play fourth quarter. Pioneers down 38-24. Navarrete tried to go through the middle and is wrapped down. Rolled up on by Barton, had his whole lower body, the knees and everything underneath one player and then was pushed over from the top. And those are always scary. Davis White is also down for PLU. The PLU athletic training staff attending to Davis White, the sophomore. My eyes cut to the near sideline. Navarrete takes off the helmet. Is with Brandon Walcott Ayers from the athletic training staff and making the way toward the table on the near side. Deontay having the training staff look at his left leg. Second down and 10. Running back is Powers. Pioneers do not have a ton of running back depth. Montana, screen pass, caught by Powers. Up the hash, and a gain to the 33 yard line, a pickup of four. Clock winds under four and a half to play. Quick snap, Montana, play action, throws over the middle, on the run, Cordova, Cordova, 50-yard line and into PLU territory. Stop to the 42, 24-yard gain. Montana and the offense could not get going in the first quarter, but Montana's actually completed the ball pretty well today. Throwing, Montana, near side caught Bodai. 
Wrapped up immediately and brought down. Elwin, 11 yard gain, first down Lewis and Clark, 3.50 to play. Lewis and Clark trailing 38-24. Pioneers are trying to get that run game going. And Montana didn't throw very much, but the Pioneers kept going three and out. Montana, fake the handoff, throws right, guess on the screen. And that time the Pios couldn't pick up the first block, tackled immediately by Tuttle. Gain of two. Montana's 10 of 16 for 80 yards. 3.30 to play. Two receivers either side from the PLU 29, second and eight. Montana to the end zone, caught, touchdown! Lewis and Clark, Isaac Cordova. First collegiate touchdown for Isaac Cordova. 3.14 to play, Lewis and Clark is down eight. Ramson Paz runs onto the formation. Seven seconds. Two on the play clock, and the Pioneers did not get the snap off. Delay game on the kicking team, number 47, five yards, replay the try. So this will now be five yards farther for Alex Koga. This to make it a seven point game with 3.14 left in the fourth. Koga, who has a big field goal in this game of 35 yards, hits that PAT, makes it 38-31. Lewis and Clark was down 35-10 about this time in the third quarter with 3.14 left in the fourth. Lewis and Clark has a chance Three timeouts down seven on Pio Stream. Thirty-eight, thirty-one. Lewis and Clark trails PLU by seven, as Lewis and Clark has been down the entire game. Now with three fourteen to play in the fourth quarter, Lewis and Clark needs some defensive help to have a chance. Lutes have been very good in this game. Big kickstart moments have mattered today. The referees are trying to figure out what's going on on the PLU sideline. Mount Pacific Lutheran, their second time out of the half. So PLU uses a timeout before the kickoff. Lutes do lead by seven. Brant McAdams seemingly wants to be sure of what happens on this kickoff coming up from Lewis and Clark. Now, there's a potential that the Pioneers could go for an onside kick here, but there's 3.14 left in the fourth, and the Pioneers do have three timeouts. And to be transparent with you, I didn't see how Hayden Moses, Lewis and Clark senior kicker, lined up before that timeout was called. So Pioneers don't seem to be showing their hands. Bruce Reed is the special teams coach for Lewis and Clark. 
kind of kept everyone huddled up as Moses got set. And Moses does kick it deep. In fact, it went over the head of the returner. That's probably Colby Rylander. And it's a touchback. So PLU has the ball from the 25 with 3.14 to go in quarter number four. Great shot of that replay during the break. First collegiate touchdown by Isaac Cordova and the second touchdown pass of the half for Cruz Montana. It helps, but it matters right now as the Pioneers defense has to make a stop. Eric Bainter is the quarterback. 15 of 30 today, 100 yards. Running back is Michael Martinez. Lutes are averaging five and a half per carry today. Low snap, it's on the ground. Bainter started to try to pick it up and just fell on it and it's a loss back to the 22. 2.59, clock moves. Crowd elevates the volume. Three receiver set offset eye. The fullback's the tight end. Snap to Boehner. Hand off Martinez and down low. Nice stop for the Pioneers. Bushman, Meinhard worked up top. No gain. It's third and 13 for PLU. Seven on the play clock. Motion. Chaffin fake to him. Bainter runs left. Chased. Breaks the Bushman tackle, but cannot get enough. And goes out of bounds, stopping the clock with a minute 49. Pioneers still have three timeouts. Here comes the punt unit. Gate of about six or so for the Pioneers have a chance to return a kick. Buchan Ugo has kicked very nicely today, including a 44 yarder last time out. He's averaging 42 per kick. McGee back at the 35 for the Pios. And this one's bad. 50 yard line forward roll though. And it'll land about the 36 yard line. Salvage a little bit out of what looked like it was going to be real rough. 36 yard kick. Minute 38. Lewis and Clark trails 38 31 in the fourth. And Deontay Navarrete is out there for Lewis and Clark, the running back. Montana, the quarterback. Three timeouts starting from the Lewis and Clark. 36, two receivers either side, snap Montana. Four man rush and they get to Montana, he just holds on to the ball. Stood up with a minute 30, clock winds. And now the timeout's taken. Ashton Barton off the bottom of the pile. Montana did not force anything. And with a minute 26, Lewis and Clark takes its first timeout. Out. Lewis and Clark, their first time out of the half. They'll put 128 back on the clock. Third sack of the day for the PLU defense. Gala and Barton split that sack. Assistant head coach Joe Bushman, the offensive coordinator, stays up in the booth. So right now, Renato Felina, the offensive line coach, Eric Schaffline, offensive assistant, head coach Jay Losey, talk to the team on the huddle. Losey sends out Elijah McGee, the receiver, and the Lewis and Clark offense. Three receivers far side, 
top to bottom, Guest, Cordova, and McGee. Near side receiver is Bodai. Second and 14 from the Pioneers, 32. Snap, Montana. Stunt picked up by the Piles line. Deep pass, McGee catches it. 30, breaks a tackle to the pylon. No signal. Touchdown, Lewis and Clark. Jonathan Newsom, who's not playing today, goes and tackles McGee. And McGee's down on the sideline. Thirty-eight, thirty-seven. Pandemonium in Portland. Big pass. And huge strides. That ball was bobbled on the initial catch by McGee. Brought it in and not only did that, but kept momentum and was able to run forward for a 69-yard touchdown reception. Oh, the Pios are sending out the offense to try to take the lead. Navarrete under center. Pioneers call a timeout. Timeout. Timeout, Lewis and Clark. Lewis. So the timeout taken by Lewis and Clark. That's the Pioneers' first. Timeout of the half, right? Oh, yeah, no, they had to take one after the sack. So the Pioneers have just one timeout remaining. And I have to imagine that's incredibly frustrating for Lewis and Clark simply because the element of the surprise is now gone. PLU has a chance to have time to get ready for what is Lewis and Clark's second attempt at a two point conversion today. They got one earlier in the half, down 38-37 with a minute 18. Lopez, the left side tight end. Kraus, the right side tight end. Herman, the fullback. And Navarrete is the deep back. McGee, one-on-one -on -one left side. Under center, Montana motions McGee. Snap, pitch play. Navarrete trying to break tackles. Can't find a spot, and the Lutes hold. Navarrete was swarmed. The Pioneers trail by one. And with just one timeout, that's enough. Pioneers have to recover an onside kick, or else PLU can kneel down the clock. A 69-yard touchdown reception by Elijah McGee gave the Pioneers a chance to go for two. In the second half, Lewis and Clark touchdowns of 84 yards on a kickoff return. Four yards to Logan Herman on a passing play that was set up by a long interception return. A 31-yard touchdown pass to Isaac Cordova and a 69-yard pass to Elijah McGee, but now the Pios have to recover the onside kick. Schroyer. Uh, I thought maybe Schroyer was the one who got the stop. They give it just to the team. They say the two point conversion failed. Hayden Moses from the near side hash to put down the onside kick. The minute 18. Off a PLU player. 
and the piles recover. Ben Burnham. First and 10, Lewis and Clark. It bounced off a PLU player and right back toward the Lewis and Clark kickoff team. Ben Burnham, the freshman, recovers in his sophomore academic year. Minute 15, Pioneers first and 10. Snap to Montana. Throws over the middle and too high. Intended for Cordova, about the 35 of PLU. Minute 10 left. The Pioneers have a chance on a recovered onside kick with less than a minute 20. Second down. Four on the defensive front for PLU. Snap Montana for rush. Throw right side out route. Caught. Guest has it first down. Out of bounds. Stops the clock with a minute seven. One timeout for the Pios. From the Pioneers, 48, snap to Montana. Pocket, penalty markers are out, incomplete pass to Bodai. Concerns, the Pioneers might get a second chop block call. Been a lot of penalties in this game for Lewis and Clark. Personal foul, shot block on the offense number 51 and five. 15 yards from the previous spot. Still Two engaged on that penalty on that block. 10th penalty on the Pios. Minute three remaining. That was a first down play. So it's first and 25 for Lewis and Clark. Alex Koga hit a 35 yard field goal in this game. Lewis and Clark away, away from that. Powers of the running back. Snap to Montana, and penalty markers before the snap. False start. Offense, number 17. Five yards, still first down. Navarrete's off the field. He's getting ice applied to his foot. Pioneer's outstanding sophomore running back. Northwest Conference's leading rusher. Clock gets reset to a minute three. First down and a bunch for Lewis and Clark. First and 30. Montana rolls left, throws, and Cardova can't bring it in. It was over his head. He did a nice adjustment to try to bring it in and just couldn't hold on. Third down. Excuse me, second down. Second down coming up for the Pios. A minute left. PLU 38, Lewis and Clark 37. Pioneers down one after going for the two-point conversion to win it, or at least take the lead. Two receivers either side. Montana throws wobbly ball off McGee's hands and incomplete. And it's third and 30. Would have been McGee's fifth catch of the game. He's over 100 yards. Had the 69-yard touchdown that gave the Pios a chance to go for two. 55 seconds left. And running in, PLU takes a timeout. Pacific Lutheran. Timeout. Pacific Lutheran, the Bands final timeout of the half. Both teams back. 
final timeout of the quarter for PLU. Lewis and Clark has one remaining. Fifty-five seconds left. Thirty-eight thirty-seven. With three minutes and 19 seconds left in the third quarter, PLU led this game 35 to 10. It was a 36 yard field goal by Peyton Hilliard, his second of the year, that put PLU up to this 38 point total, which is now proven critical. The Pioneers have a kickoff return TD in this game and had an interception on the ensuing Lutz drive that set up their next touchdown. End of the third quarter was nuts. But right now it's a third and 30 for the Pioneers. One timeout remaining for Lewis and Clark, backed up in part because of a penalty. Watch McGee slot near side. Montana throws, Cordova can't haul it in. Broken up by Davis White, it's fourth down. Lewis and Clark in this position. After recovering an onside kick. Fourth down and 30, have to get to the PLU 42. Snap, Montana. Pressured, grabbed, spins out, brought down. Couldn't get away. Gola gets the sack, and the Lutes take over on downs. Thirty-eight, thirty-seven. PLU football, another sack, and this is one thing that Lewis and Clark had done relatively well two seasons ago and just have not had the returning experience in the offensive line, came in eighth in the conference in sacks allowed, and they've been sacked four times today. Bainter, under center, takes a kneel. Great chance for Lewis and Clark after recovering the onside kick. And watch the first person on the top front for PLU. Right off, could not bring it in, and Benham is there to recover. Excuse me. Recovered by Burnham, and the Pioneers fall today. 38-37, the final. Next home game for Lewis and Clark will be homecoming on the 23rd, two weeks from today, Pioneers hosting Puget Sound. Hall of Fame dinner and class of 2020 and 2021 induction the Friday before. You can find out more information at lcpioneers.com and at lclark.edu. For the final 38-37, the Lutes are now two and two on the year and get their first conference win one and one on the season. Lewis and Clark now in the th one and three and 0 oh and two could not get a second straight win against Pacific Lutheran. Go to lcpioneers.com for more information from the end of today's game, including a full recap. I'm sure Lily Moffitt and the Pio Stream crew will show you as many replays as they can as we head out with the final from Griswold Stadium. A 38-37 win for PLU. I invite you to stay tuned later on Pio Stream. We'll have a six o'clock start for Lewis and Clark Volleyball against Whitman. For everyone who made it possible, I'm Ryan Goff. Thanks for having fun with us. We'll see you again soon for more Lewis and Clark Athletics exclusively on Pio Street. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs>